If you have an iPhone on iOS 15, you're able to duplicate the app icons on your home screen as many times as you want. I found this out a really long time ago by accident, but I never really made a video on it. I just assume it's a glitch that Apple doesn't know about. But anyways, if this works, please leave a like and subscribe, and let's start the video. To do this, first pick app that you want to duplicate. I'm going to do settings. Then go to a page on your home screen where the app isn't there. Then swipe down to enter the spotlight search, and search for the app of your choice. Now all you need to do is hold and drag it to your home screen. Then you can move the app to wherever you like. The reason you can't do this while the app is on the same page is because it will disappear. If I try to do this with the same app settings, but on the same page, the app disappears and it just replaces itself. That's why I also think that this is not an actual feature and it's just a glitch, because why would it just remove itself if it's actually a feature? I could see someone using this with focuses. If you don't know, you can make focuses hide different pages and show only some pages. For me, I have it so that when I turn on the YouTube recording uh, focus, it'll only show my first page, YouTube, Discord, and iMessage. So just to show you how this would work with the duplicating apps glitch, I made two pages on my home screen. One is my normal page and one is for school related stuff. And you can see iMessage is on both home screens. Now what I'm going to do is make it so that this home screen shows when I have, you know, the focus turned on. And when it's off, it won't show. So the way we're going to do this is by opening settings and then heading to the focus section. Then from here, create a new focus at the top right. Now you're going to create a custom focus. Now over here, you're going to customize how it looks. For me, I'm just going to name it test for the video and I'm going to keep the emoji as it is. But you can change it if you want. Now over here, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to allow none of them because this is just a test, but you can do whatever you want. Over here, I'm just going to remove all these apps from the focus and then click allow none. Now my focus is ready, but we're not done yet. Click on home screen and then click on custom pages at the bottom. Then you can select which home screens you want to show. So for me, I'm only going to show the one with Google Classroom, Google Drive, and iMessages. So the first one with YouTube, Discord, iMessage, and Instagram won't show. Now the focus is fully set up. So whenever I turn it on, it'll just show that page and that page only. So just to test it out, I turn it on, and you see that I see Google Classroom, Google Drive, and iMessages. And you'll see at the bottom that there's no other pages, and if I turn it off, then the pages will come back and I can swipe to them. Now we have one problem. The page with Google Classroom still shows when the focus is off. So to fix that, we're just going to hide this page. And to do that, you're going to have to edit the home screen by holding down, and then clicking the dots at the bottom. Now you can just uncheck the page so it doesn't show unless the focus is on. As you can see, if I swipe, this is the last page, so you can see that that page is gone. So just to test it out again, I'm going to turn on the focus again, and you can see that this page shows up, and you can see all the apps, with the duplicated app. If this was useful for you, please leave a like and subscribe, and check out some of my other videos. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video.